Now this is a question on maximization. Okay, so what's the question? A trough for holding water is formed by taking a sheet metal of 60 centimeter wide and folding 20 centimeters on either end up as shown below. So this is this is 20 plus 20 plus 20. So you can visualize this as a sheet metal of 60 centimeters wide and uh, you are pre uh, sorry folding this up and this is a cross section of the trough. This is the cross section. If you look uh, from one end, it will look like this. So basically the question is determine the angle theta, this angle theta that will maximize the amount of the trough. So if you maximize the area of this cross section, you are going to maximize the area, sorry, the volume that the trough can hold because volume of any container or volume of any shape has got this basic formula, which is area of cross section, area of CS times the width or the depth times the depth. So you're only looking at a cross section. So let's say the depth is constant. For a constant depth, the volume will increase as this area is increasing. Okay, or if you maximize this area, you're going to get the maximum volume. So the question is basically how would you maximize this area? Okay. So let's find the area of this triangle. So say so let's say sorry, this trapezium. So this is height. So let's say this is height and this is also height. So how will you split this? So this is a right angle triangle. So you've got two right angle triangle. Say this this is x. Hmm? This is also going to be x. So the area of this trapezium, so area of trapezium. You have to just use the knowledge that you have. Okay, the area of trapezium can be split it split into the area of this rectangle times two times the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is equal to the area of this triangle. So I can say area of trapezium is 20h base times height plus two times half times base what's the base base is x and the height is x so your height is h so i'll write a for area is 20 h plus what this is 2 and 2 gets cancelled so plus x h is the area of this trapezium okay so now we need to write basically if you want to maximize area uh, you want to maximize area for that you have to write this area in terms of theta because the question is for which angle theta is the good is the area going to be maximum so basically we want to write what is area as a function of theta so that's the question and then you have to differentiate it and set it equal to zero and solve it that's all so now we need to think can we write h and x in terms of theta or this angle so well what can we do so let's use Sokatoa this is something that you should know so if this is X if this is X this is going to be X okay and if this is H this is also H so using Sokatoa what can we say X is adjacent so this is uh, 20 cos theta x is 20 cos theta and what is h h is opposite so that is 20 sine theta that's all and this is the main thing to see x and h in terms of theta so area would be 20 20 times 20 sine theta plus 20 sine theta times 20 cos theta is going to be 400 sine theta cos theta. So this whole thing, sine theta cos theta. So we have written area in terms of theta. So this is how you write the notation, 
area as a function of theta is 400 sine theta plus 400 sine theta cos theta. 400 sine theta cos theta. Now we, you should know for maximization or minimization, uh, you get the maximum when the derivative or the differentiation of this function is going to be zero. So we have to find the derivative. So this is how you write. So a dash theta. So this is a simple function. Here you have to use the product rule. And here you have to just differentiate this. So in differentiation of sine is cos. So this is 400 cos theta. You can also, okay, 400 cos theta. You can write 400 cos theta. Plus, let's me factor 400 out and then differentiate this and this. So using the product rule, differentiation of sine theta is cos theta. And then, so this is cos theta times the cos theta, the second function, plus, let me drag it to this side, okay. And then you sign with, start with sine theta, differentiation of sine theta is cos theta times the second function, plus sine theta, plus sine theta times the differentiation of cos theta is negative sine theta. Okay, I hope you can see the derivation. So a dash theta is equal to 400 cos theta plus 400 cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now we need to write this in terms of one variable so it is easy to solve because we have to solve this and uh, set it equal to zero. So can I write, what's the, how can you write, you already have this cos theta, so I want to change the sine squared to cos squared. So I hope you know the basic identity, so let me write the basic identity. You know, so you should be knowing sine squared theta, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1, or cos squared theta plus sine squared is 1. So sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. Okay, so let me, so, so I hope you understand minus sine squared, or sine squared theta is 1 minus, sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. Now if you multiply both sides by negative, minus sine squared is going to be cos squared minus 1. So we can say a dash theta is equal to 400 cos theta plus 400. And this is going to be cos squared theta plus cos squared theta minus 1. So this is 2 cos squared theta, 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Okay, so a dash theta is equal to, you can take the 400 out, or factorize 400 out, so this is 2 cos squared theta plus cos theta minus 1. So this is just a quadratic in terms of cos theta. So in that, for maximization, you have to set that equal to 0. So this implies, dividing both sides by cos squared, so di dividing both sides by 400, you are left with 2 cos squared theta plus cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic in terms of theta. So just putting them in bracket, you start with 2 cos theta and cos theta using is equal to 0 because I want 2 cos squared theta. Of course, you have minus 1 here. So here you have to have plus 1 and minus 1. Does it make sense? Yeah, so this is 2 cos squared theta. No, so it has to go the other way around. So it has to be minus 1. It has to be minus 1 and plus 1. Okay, why? Because 2 cos theta 
this is going to be 2 cos theta minus cos theta is going to be cos theta okay I hope you see so now solving for theta you can say 2 cos theta is equal to 1 or cos theta is equal to negative 1 so cos theta is half cos theta is half or cos theta is negative 1 so solving for theta so theta is cos inverse of so theta is cos inverse of half you can use your calculator when is cos when is cos half or theta is cos inverse of negative 1 cos inverse of negative 1 so if you know this if you just know the sine curve sorry the cos curve the cos is like this okay so at pi at pi this is pi is negative 1 am I right so this is 90 so here you can say I you can use a calculator you don't need so this would be this is pi by 3 cos pi by 3 okay cos 60 is half cos sorry pi by pi by 3 okay so let's use the calculator so just to confirm I'm a bit rusty so let's set this in degrees so that you can see the angle degrees and shift cos of 0.5 or half 0.5 close the bracket equal 60 okay so 60 is pi by 3 okay and uh, shift cos of negative 1 is how much is 180 okay so theta is pi or you can say this is 60 degree or and this is 180 degree now can theta be 180 degree can theta be 180 theta has to be less than 90 okay so you have to say but theta has to be less than pi by 2 or 90 so this is the answer so when theta is pi by 6 or 60 degree you're going to get the maximum area and you can also check this on the calculator by typing in this function and you see what happens to the area